is what a standard BF B6 engine bay looks like. Um, this is the high output version. Um, so we'll be taking off uh, this intake here, this the stock intake. We'll be chucking on the BCM OTR. Um, we've done heaps of these in the past. You might, like I've seen all of our YouTube videos, the BCM OTRs make really good power. So um, we'll be installing that um, and we'll be doing a run without the, um, with the without anything fitted, no tune. We'll be doing a run with the BCM OTR no tune and then we will be doing a BCM OTR and a tune comparison just to show you the three different graphs and why you need a tune when fitting an OTR. Hey guys, so we've got the three different tunes here. One is without any the tuning, no mods. One's with just the OTR fitted. And the last one is with the OTR and the dyno tune. So it does look like a bit of a mess. So I will be breaking it down. We will start off with just the newt meters. Oh, sorry, just like the kill it figure. So we've got stock uh, 154 with the OTR, 164 with the OTR and the tune 192. That's, that's power at the wheels. Um, so you see there, that's sort of what the difference is there. If we take away the final figure, which is uh, that one. Um, green is with the OTR, blue is without the OTR. So the so blue, like down low, like it's showing more power. Um, up until 4.3 roughly, and then like the OTR starts making more power. Um, and then it starts running way too rich up top. So um, it, it starts pulling the power up here. Um, so if I was going to be driving one of these, I would much prefer to be driving it with more power down low and more torque down low. So um, I wouldn't be recommending driving an untuned OTR. Same with the torque figure. Um, it looks like it's, it's awesome here. All this torque's coming up here, but then again, we're losing all this torque down low. You are comparing the final figure um, with torque. The final figure, which is the light blue, that's our torque with the OTR and the dyno tune. So that's what you're missing out on. And if you are comparing them, the torque figure, 308, 356, 439. So you think, oh well, what the OTR, 356 newt meters. That's decent, but uh, not really if it's going to be like acting in, um, and, and driving really badly down low. So I, if you are going to be doing an OTR, I would suggest doing it uh, like with a tune. If you are thinking to tune it um, and install the OTR the same day and drive it down to your local tuner, like that should be okay. Just be aware that you are going to have these limitations. When, when the map sensors moved, 
um, the torque management, um, like with the readouts from the map sensor, like get all confused and it thinks you're making peak torque earlier than, than you're meant to be and it starts re like retarding the torque and the power and starts running rich. Um, so just it's something to be aware of. If we are comparing like the final kilowatt figures, that's what you're missing out on there. So while the last figure here is, is really nice, really smooth, lots of power, um, like your green is making good power here, but then it's dipping here. So all in all guys, that's the differences. Um, if we are gonna be comparing both, that's what this mess looks like. Um, I, like, I would be suggesting to have your OTR tuned. Thank you.